Hi there, and welcome back for more Explore Tulsa. Now, Stevie, are you prepared for tornado season around your house? Now, in Oklahoma, year-round is tornado season, but from now until August, that's when we have most of the activity happen. And yes, at our house, we are ready in the Harry Potter room, got it all set up in the downstairs staircase. Well, if Andy Kinslow and Jim Bulware of KKT Architecture have their way, Tulsa could be home to a very unique weather museum in the new future. Now, I've seen those plans for a building downtown that looks like a tornado. Yeah, and KKT has been invited to speak all over the world about their one-of-a-kind design. I decided to be an architect in the third grade. Uh, when my parents built their house and so everything I did from that point forward was all aimed at becoming an architect. I knew when I was in the sixth grade I was going to go to the University of Arkansas and major in architecture and so I had great teachers through uh, junior high and high school that helped me focus on that goal. It's been fascinating. My parents love to come to town and I get to drive them around and show them things that we're working on. It has been over 25 years so there's a lot of things that we've we've worked on. We uh, For the first 10 years of the, of the business it was only corporate interior planning work. So we've designed 75 law firms and lots of oil and gas companies and we've worked with a number of those companies for years and years and years. And so it's been in the last 15 years that we've actually been designing buildings from the ground up. There was no client on this project. It was something that Tulsa People Magazine asked us to do. So we were able to do whatever we wanted to in re-envisioning a building downtown that needed, uh, needed to be, needed a facelift. And so Jim was the creative talent behind behind that. It was Christmas Day two two years ago and uh, and and I remember I, I we'd opened presents and I, I sat down and I just started doodling and, and uh, it came to me and I showed my wife and my daughter and they were like no don't do that and uh, <coughs> and I did and, and the original one had there were cows flying around it and cars and mobile homes and, and uh, that, that's what we sent to Andy. I was on vacation in Puerto Rico when we started getting these uh, renderings back and forth. We were emailing back and forth, and my first thought was, they're joking. And then when I got back to Tulsa, it was, no, this is what we're doing. The design started out with, with a revolving restaurant. And, uh, you know, we thought, downtown's such a great view at night and during the day there's a lot of things to look at. So we just didn't want a restaurant on a stick sticking up on top of this building. Jim came up with the concept of, of skinning the building as a tornado uh, but we just still couldn't have a tornado with a revolving restaurant on the top as being the entire thing. So that's when we came up with the concept of the Weather Museum and Research Center to actually make the building make sense. That, that way the entire building becomes functional for something. The center of it is a structural core it, which would be similar to a water tower. Uh, and then the, the floors would cantilever off from that. But, you know, there's, a, there's gonna be an elevator and, and restrooms in that core. It's gonna be pretty big. When we designed it, it was on a quarter of a block on the site that we were given for our project. But depending on where it goes, it could actually be bigger or smaller or wider or taller, depending on the site that it actually ends up in. If it were a hotel, it wouldn't work. It needs to be this research center and and museum to be able to make sense. It was something that we just thought would be, you know, in the magazine that would be it. And then uh, the Daily Mail UK did a story on it, and then the Huffington Post did a story on it, and then after that it just went everywhere. We were invited by Dumbest Design Magazine to come to Ukraine and present Tulsa Tornado Tower and one of our other projects, the Center of the Universe. And so there were three presentations. One was to a group of 370 people uh, that I was part of a panel with uh, four Ukrainian architects. One was to a university, spoke to 170 students, and then a third presentation um, at Zala, which was 150 invited architects and designers. It was fascinating uh, how how interested they were in the detail and what's involved in the process of building things here. So there were um, lots of young architects that were there that were very excited to see something different. Uh, it gave them inspiration of that, yes, you can do something that's unusual and get attention. You know, there's really not much more to the design than that, and people kind of see what they want to see in it. And uh, that's kind of neat that, you know, it's just that architecture has kind of come to 
the forefront. Well, one of the reasons that we did this, this out-of-the-box project was to let people know that you don't have to go out to Tulsa to find creative people to creative firms to be able to work on projects. That uh, it's, the talent is right here in Tulsa and if you just have the budgets and the projects for it, the people could come up with really creative concepts and ideas.